What's up, East Coast? Welcome to East Coast After Hours. Today we're doing an unboxing and a, uh, you know, testing of the Monster Bluetooth FM transmitter with USB charging. Uh, when, I guess the question is, what is this device? This device allows you to, as it says, FM transmit, meaning if you have a USB drive, if you want to take your uh, phone calls via Bluetooth through the speakers of your vehicle, you can do it with this device. Uh, when would you want to get one like this? Well, if you have an older vehicle that, um, you know, perhaps the head unit of the radio is not working as well, the CD player doesn't work, or um, again, you know, this is like a, a budget alternative to uh, replacing the head unit on your vehicle, you plug this in, you plug in either your USB flash drive or you can play music through your phone and it allows you to play music or take calls. And uh, again, you see the number on the right side, meaning that you would adjust it to a station that's not being used on your radio, thus transmitting the you know, frequency through the FM channel. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing. I've already opened the top since we're doing this one-handed. So here you have the device. Looks pretty simple, plug and play. As you can see, the arrows are to adjust the channel, and of course you can uh, advance the tracks on the music if you're plugging in a uh, USB flash drive. You see on the right side is for charging with the sign, the lightning sign. On the left is for your music um, if you want to play MP3s on uh, USB. So let's go ahead and plug it in. I'm just going to plug it in through your uh, cigarette lighter adapter. So go ahead, plug it in. I've already put the uh, keys on the ignition or I guess that thing where you put the lights on and again uh, normally easy plug and play so here we go plugged in I have my purchased mp3s here on the USB flash drive I'm going to insert it into the top it recognizes that I plugged in the UPC now I've gone ahead and the standard station, I believe is 88.1. Normally there's nothing on it. I've already uh, put it in onto the radio. And of course, we're just gonna turn the volume to see if it's playing music. So as you can hear, there is already playing music. And for licensing, I'm just gonna limit the sound on it, but here we go. You can pick the song you want. And simple as that, you're playing music on your uh, older head unit. So if you decide to, you know, play music that you've purchased or you want to play as opposed to just playing the radio, this is a good, great way to do it, especially if your CD player is not working. The only thing to consider is notice how it plugs in straight in. They do sell different units where you can have, a, have like a bendy wire so you can bend it around or if it's taller depending on the design of your vehicle. So something to consider if you're planning to purchase one of these devices. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. And comment below if you've used this before or, you know, let me know. Have a great one. Bye-bye.